kona fuma alampa la ngana mono kona fuma alampa alandisha alandisha ine yawe alandisha ine yawe ngana mono kona fuma alandisha ngana mono kona fuma alandisha my name is joseph the farm manager of Kansatu Farms, based in Zambia. We've been using this mycorrhizae uh, on a serious note uh, for two seasons. Plant that we planted with um, mycorrhizae has performed far much better than the non mycorrhizae plant. From week one, there was a distinct line where the mycorrhiza was uh, applied and where it wasn't applied. It was distinct right through to, to harvest in appearance, uh, crop stature and, and yield. I didn't need any other convincing that we were on the right track. Microapply is a soil fungi that uh, lives in a symbiotic relationship with uh, plants. We are using myco on our farms, uh, principally maize and uh, soya beans, and you'll be able to see the difference that it has made. And certainly, when I compare this with last year, when we did not apply myco, um, there is quite a big difference. It's a clear testimony that uh, mycorrhiza uh, do perform very well. We we'll just simply mycorrhize it and uh, we think that uh, the, the yield has, be, has doubled. God created everything to be, to be living in symbiotic relationships. And that's exactly what the mycorrhiza is. It lives in harmony and symbiosis with its host plant. And it does all the work for the plant. Mycorrhiza spores will germinate on the roots of the plants and attach themselves and use plant food to extend themselves out to get moisture and uh, soil nutrients that will benefit the plant. When I looked at the root formation, when we started using the mycorrhiza, we found that um, mycorrhiza has got more roots, you know, which is uh, uh, giving it more hair roots and uh, the more hair roots that you have, the more minerals that the plant is going to, to take on. If the plant can't find the minerals here, through the network of the mycorrhiza, it's going to find the mineral maybe over the next tree um, and bring it back to that plant. And when you've got a healthy plant, you don't have the pests and diseases, you're going to have much better yields and you're not going to have any expense having to treat pests and diseases. So it's a win-win situation all around. Uh, I like win-win uh, situations. Last season we failed to have maize, good maize, but this time because we were given mycorrhiza to use, this time I, we, I think we, we have a good harvest in our small garden with mycorrhiza. The roots become more, more spread, then the crop grows a bit taller and healthy. It, was, it is also resistant, like when there's a bit of drought with mycorrhiza, the, the plants, they look well. The other thing which it does is, during the dry season, you'll find that that which has mic, uh, it has like dry resistance. This one, we did put micro immediately when we were just planting them. This one. And this one, we planted without mic. That's why it is looking like this. Just because of the result of the mic, just within second year, this plant has started fruiting. Otherwise, Without Mike, it should take three years, years before it can start even showing the fruits. Well, this maize was uh, inoculated with Michael uh, at seed, uh, seed time. And as you can see, the cobs are quite big. And on some, we have on an average two, a big one, a small one, and certain instances, three. What we have also is cassava, the uh, mycor, which is on the maize, because of the root uh, uh, structure, it will also engage with the cassava, and we are expecting bigger, um, you know, cassava tubings. Due to the the positive results we've had, we're now applying it to the wheat and the soybeans and all the crops. 
as a standard process. We've taken the yields from 5 to 7 tons up to 9 to 11 tons. We've used the mycorrhiza for two seasons. The season before that we had terrible, terrible germination. And the season we applied the mycorrhiza, amazing germination. Um, that's what made us buy the mycorrhiza again the next year was we had such brilliant germination. We started with mycorrhiza about four, three and a half years ago when we first learned about it in some small trees and things. And we found that as we applied it to the plants and to the roots of the plants, those trees that we applied it to would suddenly take off and start to grow to a pace that was about probably about 30% more than the other trees. And then we found also that the size of the beans and things got bigger and it got more dense. And so we were winding up with more coffee in weight. So we can take and weigh mycorrhizal coffee. We can weigh that coffee against a non-mycorrhizal coffee and we'll find a 20% increase in the weight. I'll tell you about the fig tree over there. For all the height that has come up is from when we added the mycorrhiza. It went for about 20 odd years and did nothing. And now we're getting fruit. I want to show you some bananas. We were planted them with mycorrhiza. And I want to show you the second bunches we're getting off them. But I really don't want a bunch of bananas any bigger than that. <laughs> The only problem is you need lots of friends when you have sizes of bananas like this. Oh.